I grew up in the middle of Canada. I did not see the ocean until I was 19 years old, but I used to read books by Jacques Cousteau and I would watch his old movies, Silent World, and I fell in love with the ocean. I am a Canada Research Chair in Deep Ocean Research and a professor at University of Victoria. When I started, it was using manned submersibles, so I've dived a lot in submersibles. Then we helped develop some of Canada's and the world's first remotely operated technologies and always wanting more and more. So you're working with the engineers and the technologists while trying to achieve your research dreams. With telecommunications developing better and robotics developing, we've been part in our lab and our colleagues just pushing the edge all of the time and being part of that technological revolution which has opened up so much of the ocean. I mean, this is so unprecedented to be able to share this kind of experience. And you can pe bring people in, you can bring the classes in. Last night I brought the janitor in. It was just so exciting. <laughs> so the ocean is a place where not many people can go in terms of we can go out on boats, but to be able to go down into the ocean, experience the milieu, be able to see what's there. Only a few people that do scuba diving really can get into it. And then those very few people like me who have access to submersibles that can take us down into the ocean. So that is absolutely spectacular. It's wonderful, but it's only me and a few of my students. So how do we bring the ocean to more people? This is a huge part of our planet. If we're gonna understand how important the oceans are to us and to the future of the planet, people have to get a better link with the oceans. Look, there he goes. It's just adjusting. They use their big pectoral fins as a purchase. They have big fin, as fin rays coming out that they grab onto the, onto the seafloor to stop themselves being moved. It's a fish with a very low profile and likes to keep right down on the seafloor. Venus is a cabled network that sits partly on the seafloor with instruments on the seafloor and instruments connecting into an interface and the interface connecting into a big a switching box on the seafloor. And then we're using fiber optic cables to connect back to the shore. Now the rest of Venus is sitting here at University of Victoria as a data repository, an archive, and an interface to the rest of the world. So other people from anywhere can then log on to Venus and then get down in it, into the instruments. Oh, there's a ratfish down here. See a little hydrolagus? Get him go by. This is an exciting business. It's really exciting because we're always taking chances. We don't know what we're going to find, and you don't know when that wonderful technique you've just developed fails you. So you've got to be ready for the next invention all of the time.